Well, today's caper is uh, to try and remove the internal assembly from this Shimano Dyno Hub. My attempts so far have been unsuccessful. The, uh, the internal assembly is screwed into the hub shell and uh, I'm sure there's a special tool for unthreading it. Uh, but in the absence of such a tool, I need to fabricate something myself. So, of course, the first step is to remove the uh, lock nut and cones and bearings from the from the other side. That's already been done. My first attempt at this. Well, first of all, I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm uh, planning to use now. I've got a, a good beefy chunk of channel iron here, into which I have inserted a couple of 5 16 bolts and I've filed the uh, tips of the bolts uh, try and get this in the camera here there we go oh there we go <laughs> uh, all right so you see these notches here I've got these uh, bolts lined up and filed to fit it does fit okay and uh, yeah, that's uh, the theory is that we'll be able to uh, unscrew that that ring. Of course, it would be much easier if the hub was built into a wheel, but it's not. So I'll have to figure out another way. Uh, just to give you an idea of how uh, tight that thing is threaded in there, I originally made a tool with this eighth-inch piece of flat stock and. Um, it uh, just twisted that all up into a pretzel trying to get it out and never budged it so that's why we have to go for the heavy iron here so what I'm going to try here is uh, something I've done with um, uh, Sturmy Archer hubs uh, getting the ball ring out of a hub that's uh, out of a wheel we've got uh, I've got three spokes threaded into the the uh, spoke holes here and clamped tightly in the vise and uh, got the, the hub shell braced on the top of the vise with a piece of wood. So I've got the tool uh, clamped in there with a QR skewer. The uh, bolts are engaged with the notches in the shell. So we will now attempt to unscrew it. So far nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. Okay. That did it. So it looks like we, uh, we marred up the, uh, the notches there a little bit. And it's now free to unscrew. The magnets are holding it in there pretty strong. 